Hello, people. Okay, I'm going to do a, a show today on Gene Barillo. Um, Gene Barillo is going back to court in three days. Um, since everything happened where the Jerry Capici story came out, and I did my video, and I showed the charges and everything, and everything that's out there, Gene Barillo, instead of being quiet, has kept it up and up and up. Um, he he does he is his own worst enemy. I think what the problem is here is with Gene, is that he's so used to going back to court, and having the judge let him go. Uh, a judge that uh, this is Judge Block. Judge Block is very friendly toward uh, informants. He gives them light sentences and stuff. And the last time Gene was in court, the prosecution said to the judge, "Please." This guy's going to go down to Florida. He's going to start the same crap that he's been doing. And what did Gene do? He went down to Florida and just changed locations, but he stayed uh, the person that he is. And it's gotten worse since then because there's things going on now that not many people know about. I'll talk to you about it. Okay, He's going out with this girl right here. I'm not going to show her face, but this girl right here she's going. he's going out with. I'm going to talk about her in a minute, but, you know, this is, uh, I just want you to see this, and then we'll talk about her and the current situation that's going as, on as of yesterday. That situation changes so many times, so I don't know what's going to happen, uh, but I'm going to talk about it because there's been a lot of people in this community, there's been people in uh, uh, the legal parts, uh, uh, cops, uh, trying to help her and um codependency is a horrible thing but we're going to talk about that too so this is going to be a little bit of show it's going to be a little bit different but it's going to be uh it's going to be something that probably be pissing gene off and uh let's see g might do something like this so uh, let's give me one minute please Okay. All this stuff that I get put up on the Lee Cole show, all these documentations of me with a weapon, uh, investigation. I'm in, Flo I'm in New York today. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put on Instagram that I'm in New York. That's not a violation. I mean, let's be real here. The FBI is being, like, ridiculous now and the government, so I'm just going to put this out there now. Let let let's call it what it is. If they thought that Gene Barello, okay, had anything to do with a firearm, Navy SEALs would be kicking my fucking door, and that's first off, okay? Second off, okay, they're stating that I what? That I went and threatened somebody? They're stating that I was locked up three times in Florida. That's a lie. I was locked up one time, and the case was dismissed because my ex-girlfriend, okay, who was a psychopathic lunatic, okay, who literally just, uh, let me not get into it. Anyway, so basically with that, okay, I was not locked up three times. Okay, people, right there he says that his ex-girlfriend was a psychopathic lunatic. He's back with that girl. He is back with her. Uh, and a matter of fact, uh, Gene's been making some calls going around the... Uh, uh, this community, um, telling people to stay away from her girl, his girl. Um, the girl basically has reached out and for help, and people have helped her. And here it is a couple of weeks later. Now the people that's helping her, she's going after. She's saying, uh, well, leave me alone. She's yelling in the background on, on this one call that I just heard, where Gene's threatening somebody else that you're going to, you know, you just want my girl. Gene, you and this girl, Gene, you told me when we were in, when you were in New York, the last time I really interviewed you, and this was months ago, you told me that this girl was Amber Heard. You actually told me that. And but there he is when he when he got down to uh, to be with her in Florida. So. To this girl, I like to say one thing. Do yourself a favor. Please do not contact anybody in the community to help you anymore. Um, because 
who knows what's wrong with you? This is insane. I mean, you, you, you're you going out filing all these charges against this guy. Um, you got him for uh, stalking. You got him for uh, uh, threatening somebody uh, in a restaurant that he did because this person was in your life. Uh, and, and you know what? Because you're back with him, it's not going to change the situation for Gene. The only person that can uh, come down on Gene is a judge. So Gene might go into court and the judge might say, oh, you go home again. But there'll be a very angry prosecution if he does that. And then Gene, you kind of had like a party. Yes, not a party, but you had like a, a last dinner, let's say. Well, you're thinking it might be a last dinner. And this was your, yes, your yesterday. And you put this dinner together. And right at, and here's what you wrote underneath this dinner. So let me put this up. Okay. You wrote this. You said, I have met some great people, the best people I have ever met in my life down here in Tampa Bay. And I'm happy that I got to meet them. And that's one thing that the government can't take away from me. What I've created and built out here in Tampa, that's something I will have for the rest of my life. Love all you guys. Gene. You're attacking the government. The government kept you out of prison, Gene. You were going to go to 30 years in prison, you were looking at, maybe more. And you went to the government, so you didn't have to go to prison. And you put Vinny Sorrow away and Ronnie G, uh, Ronnie G, G Alonzo. So those are two guys. Those two guys were in Howard Beach. They were pretty high-ranking guys that you knew. But when the time came to it, Gene, and you needed the government, the government was the best thing in the world. And now you're saying the government is uh, persecuting you. So which one is it? The government saved you, Gene. Do you understand that? They, the government kept you out of prison. And you... Put it, Vinny Asaro got out because he's sick. He's barely, I don't know how he's doing now health-wise. But uh, And then Ronnie G still has, I think, what, eight, six to eight years to serve yet because of you. And you're going to come out and say that the government is treating you bad? No, the government gave you every opportunity to get your life together. And you chose not to. You chose to do the things you, you do. And uh, let me give you an example. Once again, we're going to do this uh, this whole thing. Uh, okay, so the Fed suspected that you lied about getting strep throat when you were supposed to be in court last uh, last month. And then you didn't come up with your sick notice. And you just did a video saying that you have the sick notice now. But here's how it works, Gene. You're supposed to give them the sick notice before you get to court, not after you don't show up. And you're blaming everybody. You're blaming me. You're blaming, uh, you're, here you are, you're going to court. And you are attacking the FBI agent that's running the case. This uh, F Myers, I believe her, her name is Myers. You named her. You said her name. Uh, you said uh, C, uh, Christine Myers. That's what you said. You said this FBI agent. And you were saying that, she has a hard on for you, or she's just after you. Why would anybody in their normal mind attack the agent that's basically in charge of getting evidence on you and stuff? One of the best thing to do is just not to say nothing. Okay, and then let's say you got the letter. It was not real. When you went down there, you said you were working on a roofing company. The FBI contacted the roofing company, and the roofing company said, no, you were not. Uh, the owner said that he never heard of you. He doesn't even know who you are. So it turned out that you gave them a fake letter, Gene. And you don't even answer that when you get out there. Then you blame the state attorneys for not liking you. It was state attorneys that saved you. It was the prosecuting attorneys that saved you, Gene. When you were supposed to go to prison, they offered you a deal. And now they're your enemy. I'm your enemy. At one time, we got along fine, Gene. 
But, you know, I remember the last time we really had a conversation. I told you that I can't talk to you no more. Once you go down to Florida to be with this girl because I know where it's going. And you just totally ignored it. You went down there and all this stuff with this girl has happened now. Okay. On this video the other day, you said that people are lying, that you've only been arrested once and the charges were dropped. See, Gene, you're not going to believe this, but when you're out of, when they send you home from court and you're on probation, one of the things is if you have any contact with the police, you're supposed to tell probation right away, which you did not do. Uh, you're not even supposed to have contact with the police. You're not supposed to get arrested for anything. And you had three charges. Uh, one was stalking, uh, three different charges. And the only reason you weren't charged for them is because you hid from them. You weren't there at the scene after you created and did what you did. Then they confiscated your phone. You weren't even supposed to own a phone, Gene. You're supposed to have one phone, and you lied to the probation and told them that you were going to return that other phone. You never did it. You kept it as a second phone. And then they came to your job, and they confiscated it, the FBI. And on there, you were talking about two more illegal things, Gene. Xanax, you said, oh, but they weren't for me. They were for my girlfriend. Do you understand, Gene? It doesn't matter who they're for you are still doing something that you're not supposed to be doing while you're on probation. And you were talking about steroids, another crime while you're on probation, while you're at a court, you're not even, you're still uh, going to court at this time that you're doing this. It's excuse after excuse after excuse, Gene. And you want to blame everybody else. Now you're back with this girl. You can't make this stuff up. You and this girl have broken up like five times in the last six, seven months. And each time you broke broken up, you do something and she films it. And she sends it to everybody on the internet. She sends it to everybody, Gene. And she'll be sending it again because you and her are going to do the same thing again. It's guaranteed. But the only problem is this time when she reaches out to people to help her. And she never wanted me to help her because she knew that I wasn't like some of these guys helping her. You know, codependency is very understandable. And with you and her, it's a codependent thing. Beautiful girl, sure. But Gene, you're getting in all sorts of legal trouble. And it's not just because of this girl you're getting in legal trouble. You're doing stuff that has nothing to do with this girl either. I mean, this girl's not making you take steroids. Okay, let's, let, let me just read. Uh, federal prosecutors have previously sought, they previously sought at eight months for Barillo's second violation of supervisor release. But in a fairly stunning move, the feds yesterday asked Judge Frederick Block to give Barillo three years. They also asked Block to conduct a hearing and impose more time yet behind bars for a slew of lies and crimes. So here you got the feds, they're asking the judge to give you more time besides the three years, Gene, for the other crimes that you committed, that you're denying that you're committing. And some of these crimes are easily proved. Here's what I don't understand. Why you just didn't say, I fucked up not, and, and kept your mouth shut. To have your, and, and where's your lawyer? Why isn't your lawyer right now telling you not to talk to nobody? Why are you running your own thing? Where is your lawyer? Do you even have a lawyer? Because if you have a lawyer, they're a pretty crappy lawyer. Very crappy. Because if they're letting you do whatever you want to do, and you're defying, and you're doing everything a good lawyer would say, you're out, you're out, in, out in court right now. Uh, you have to go back to court. You've got a case coming up. You're looking at getting uh, violated for uh, one for, for probation the first time, and then they want to give you new charges. And yet you don't care about that. You just keep on doing what you're doing. And you threaten people. And you blame the government. 
I blame the government. You know what I blame the government for? I blame the government for working with people that have committed serious crimes and putting them back out in the street because you are a perfect example of what happens when people are criminals like you. I'm talking about violent criminals, brutal temper. You know, listen, everybody makes mistakes. People deserve a break, Jane. They gave you break after break after break. And you keep telling them, F you, I don't care. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. That's what it comes down to. And now you're going to go back up to New York. You're going to walk into that courtroom. You, you, No one knows what the judge is going to do. I think that you think the judge is going to give you a break because he's always given you a break. But your last case, he warned you. He told you not to go down to Florida and not to start this stuff up. And what do you think they're going to do? Uh, this girl, this this girl reached out to people in the uh, FBI. She reached out to, she reached out to uh, the police. She reached out to all these, uh, uh, all, all this, all these law departments. She's reached out to, to put you away, to have you arrested, to have you put in jail, and now you're back with her. Even say she wanted to come back to you. Why would you go back to the woman that is out here trying to get you locked up? She literally told people she wants you locked up, put away. And now the love story continues. Wow. You can't make this one up. You can't make it up. Okay, let's read some more here. Uh, Barillo has had a tough time in the Sunshine State since his arrival. He has been arrested twice for domestic abuse. You say no. You say it's only once. Uh, and, ball, and then it was dropped. But even if that was true, Gene, you still had contact with the police. You still got arrested. You're not even supposed to have contact with the police, period. That's one of the warnings. That's what they tell you. No contact with the police. And if you have contact with the police, notify us right away. Three times in Clearwater, I believe it was, you ran from the police. And they wrote up, uh, they wrote up what you did, and you ran from them. I guess to live a couple of days more than go turn yourself in. But see, this is all stuff breaking the rules of which is set upon you upon the courts, and you've pissed these prosecutors off to no. I can't even imagine what's going to happen in there, Gene, if the judge lets you go, because they're furious. They want you to get the book thrown at you. And here you are telling people how no good they are, how no good the FBI agent investigating you are, how, how no good they are. Okay, okay that's not all. Barolo also arrested last night, last month on burglary charges. The prosecutor stated he was again arrested in Pinellas County Police Department for stalking last week on January 11th. If they dropped the charges, you were still arrested for it. It's like, I've been arrested for things in my life, and then they drop the charges. See, if you're on probation, you're not supposed to be arrested, even if they drop the charges. It's a violation of probation. That was just one day before the lawyer, Nancy Innes, emailed the court, obtained an adjournment, uh, adjournment, adjournment, I'm sorry, there I go, uh, of his sentence statement. Her client had con uh, contracted strep throat. And where did they find you the day that you contacted strep throat? Supposedly, you were at the Tampa Bay game, the Tampa Bay Buccaneer game. And you were even shot videos and put them up, Shane. It's like you have no, no respect for anybody. You just didn't care. You just threw them up. And then after you threw them up, you took them down because people started saying stuff about it. But some people grabbed them. And somehow they wound up, Jerry Capici had pictures of you with your hat there and everything. So somebody had those pictures, took them and gave them to Jerry Capici. And I'm sure that uh, if, if you're being investigated by the feds, I'm sure they have that whole video. They can get anything they want. In a social media account, Barillo seemed pretty chippier. Uh, well, we're talking about, I'm not going to read that. That's silly stuff. Brillo moved to Florida in July after Judge Block postponed his sentences for three months and let him 
moved there at the defense lawyer, uh, Enos filed a uh, phony looking letter stating that Barillo had been offered a job as a roofer. And it turned out to be a complete fabrication, according to the owner of the roofing company, Robin Scherer. The name of the roofing company was TG Roofing. Right there. Another violation. Lying to the... And you, the judge seen that letter. That's why the judge let you out that day. That was one of the reasons that the judge let you go home. Because of that letter. And so now you got to go back and you got to talk to Fred, uh, Judge Block. And he's going to he's going to want to know why you gave him that letter, why you lied to him. He's going to want to know that, Gene. And you keep stalling this and stalling this. And the more you stall this, the more things you do illegal because you're not capable of not blowing up, losing your temper. I mean, you're on the phone two days ago yelling at guys. Because your girlfriend, your uh, well, your present girlfriend, who used to be your ex girlfriend, ex so many times ex, that girl contacted people, talked to them on the phone, tried to hook up with one of them, and you're worried about them talking to her. She reached out to them, Jean. Do you understand that? So this whole thing's insane. I wasn't going to even do this thing today. But people were going above and beyond trying to help this person. And then she, the people that tried to help her, she stuck her thumb, her thumb in her eyes. So you can't make this up, Gene. You guys belong together. You guys are the perfect couple. God bless you. I hope you get married, and I hope that you have 20 kids. I'm saying that very, uh, you know, I'm not saying that like I mean it, Gene. It's a very sar sarcastic remark. In the last year's ruling, Block, Judge Block indicated he intended to give Barillo no jail sentence. If his new gig and his new digs in Tampa Bay area helped him out of trouble, stay out of trouble with the law, the key, Judge Block agreed to let you go to Florida if you stayed out of trouble with the law. You have not done that. And you continue to double down on it and attack the people that are uh, saying that you're guilty. Or you go, you're attacking the people that hold your fate in their hands. It remains to be seen. Here's, here's how this has ended. And this is a, this is an ending by Jerry Capici. And I think this is a perfect way he ended this. It remains to be seen how great the easygoing, lenient sentence and judge block thinks things have turned out when Barillo, who's looking for a pass, faces the music. Can't say it better than that. I mean, how much more can you say? That's what's going on, Gene. You're, you're, it's up to the judge. I guess if Judge Block uh, lets you go, bless you. And if he does let you go, I hope that you realize that once again, you've got a big, big break in your life. And once again, there's a man in sitting in prison because of you that doesn't get these breaks. And if this man did not go to prison, and let's remember, this man that went to prison didn't even go to prison for murder. There wasn't even a murder in his charge. So remember, if this man that went to prison had chances like this, where he'd be, he'd be home with his family. But Ronnie G's sitting in jail or in prison because of you. And you're out here insulting the shit out of the feds. The people that saved your butt from going to prison. And Gene, you might think this video is a little bit harsh. And you might have your lackeys come after me now with their other shows. Which I don't care about because this video is still going up. But someone has to put it out there and tell you the way it really is. 
And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying my best to tell you what you know, I'm I'm talking one former one former criminal to a current criminal. I messed up with the law a lot, Jane. Many times. But there comes a point where you got to know when to stop. I never messed up with the law when uh, I was on probation. I was a good boy on probation. Showed up at my appointments, never missed nothing. I, I was there on probation. And I've been on probation a couple of times in my life, Gene. At least a total of eight years I've spent on probation. So that's all I have to say, for people. If you like this video, please hit the like. Gene, if you like this video, please hit the like. I know your girl's going to be kind of mad at me, but she's got to be called out for what she's doing, going after these guys that tried to help her, the guys that she reached out to. And now she's back with you. Hey, listen, maybe it will work out. I'm just here reporting stuff. That's my job. That's what I do here on my channel. I don't, you know, whatever Judge Block does to you, it's up to Judge Block. And I'll report that. If he lets you go, I'll report that. If he puts you in jail, I'll report that. And as for your girl, as soon as you guys break up again, I'll report that. And you will be breaking up again because she's going to be running to people to help her. And unfortunately, we're going to have some weak-minded men that will that will come out to help her. Because she'll call and say, please help me. And then call them. And you're mad because she called guys on here. Come on, Gene. With that, people, have a nice one. Hit that like. If you want to donate, uh, my cash app will be underneath here. Or you can just donate as a heart, you know, underneath uh, the video. Uh, I want to thank, say thank you to everybody. Um, and I'll drop it as a live now. Take care.